You know, I was all ready to hit publish on this video like a week ago. But when I was reviewing it, something just didn't feel right. It felt kind of depressing, like I was feeling sorry for myself. So then I pondered, what does it need? Well, it needs like a retrospective look back at exactly how far I've come. So that's exactly what this first 25 seconds has been all about. I'm pretty sure we've all experienced a similar story. We get frustrated with something. I mean, we get really frustrated with something and then we grasp at straws. And we usually regret it in the end. Here's my story today. My name is Lutrache and this is Project 308. Or as I should start calling it, Project Nightmare. Anyway, so let's jump right in. Been bitching for a year that I haven't been able to find to put the, anyone to put the glass in. Look at that. And these two fellows showed up out of the blue. So that I could stop complaining that I can't put the engine in. Because we're putting the rear glass in as we speak. Why yes, there is a reason why I have pixelated these dudes' faces. And yes, I did ask them if I could record before they started, but things didn't end well, which you'll see shortly. But before we get to the good stuff, I, I mean the bad stuff, a little bit of backstory is in order. If you click on the link on the screen, you will see Steve, my longtime glass guy, removing the glass several years ago. Well, you know, glass installation has never been one of those things that I've been overly comfortable with. So I've always sort of deferred it to somebody else. The fellow who took the glass out three years ago, he retired and moved up north and just didn't want to come back and put it in. And the quest to find somebody to put it in has been almost a year, a year of uh, pain and agony simply because I can't find anybody who's willing to take the risk. Then along came these two fellows. Of course they came from a referral, you know, they're good guys, they know what they're doing. I spoke with them on the phone, I sent them pictures, and he said no problems. I got this. They didn't seem bad. I mean, except for the butt cleavage. Excuse me! Shut up. As you can tell, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm pacing. Because it's right about now that my spidey senses are starting to go, hmm. The guy in the black sweater seemed to be the guy that was following the lead of Butt Crack McGee. And it should be noted, the guy in the black sweater is the guy that I corresponded with, who was the one who said he could handle this. In their defense, they were being careful, they were taking their time, but I just wasn't getting that warm and fuzzy feeling that it was going to end well. And I guess now I'll fast forward through this and get to the part that you've been waiting for. Just in case you missed it the first time, here it is again. And that's all I had to say about that. Well, I'm not gonna lie. This hurts a bit. Handle with care. Now ain't that the truth. So we're gonna try it again. This is the guy that was supposed to do it the first time, but couldn't get in to do it. I've been begging him and pleading him, pleading with him to come and put this glass in, and he's gonna give her, give her a go. But he's complained, he said everything's a mess, and it's a mess. This is Hassan from M3 Auto Glass here in the Toronto area. And I gotta say, I got a tad wee bit frustrated with Hassan a year ago. I got a referral to him over a year ago. He was one of the first guys I called. This is the fellow that the Ferrari dealers use. So clearly he must know what he's doing. 
he came out and looked at my car. He said yes, he would do this. And then he disappeared off the face of the earth. I waited, and I waited, and then I waited some more, and then I called, and then I waited. I just couldn't get a hold of the guy. I gave up, and then in desperation I found those two other guys. Now I know I can't blame him because, you know, he had some health issues, but man, I want to blame him for this fiasco. But the reasonable person in me is saying, I can't. But I'm sure all of you watching who I consider my friends now, you can share in my frustration, right? Regardless, he's here now. Let's watch him put the glass in without breaking it. I'm like shitting my pants right now, like literally, like checking my shorts for specimens because this is, this is nerve wracking. It's close. It's definitely close. Well, he's just leaving now, and the glass is in. Um, actually, looks okay. So he's gonna come back when he's not busy, and he's gonna take the front glass back out again because it's just not sitting right. The guys have put it in. I tell you, this has not been a uh, pleasurable experience and uh, it's caused me a fair amount of stress. Once again, end of a video, short video, didn't do a heck of a lot of work to the car, but at least I'm over a hurdle now. And I'm going to start making arrangements to put that engine back in and move forward with my life. Thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, thank you for subscribing, sharing, everything. Love you guys. Anyways, next week, well not next week, next video. Bye.